the second uh, second point that I started with, education. For us in particular, this sort of relates particularly to what we do with our clients uh, and particularly to what uh, we do with the class that I coach as well, is education is a big part of training also. We try and educate our clients, sort of help them understand why we do things, why the programming looks the way it does, why their training currently looks the way it does, why for the next six weeks we might be concentrating on their hinging pattern or that's particular, specifically for individual clients, why the next six weeks might be looking at their aerobic system and going longer. Sort of helping them understand why we're doing certain things and why they need it um, and why they should be doing these certain things goes a very long way to creating buy-in from your clients as well creating buy-in uh and creating buy-in with 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 class with class uh class individuals as well people that come to our class ensuring that they don't blindly follow instructions because you know as a coach uh, for the mo- for me, I don't like being uh, the person that just stands there and shouts things at people and they just go and do it and they blindly follow the instructions. I like it when you get asked questions. You, you like it when people want to know why they're doing what they're doing, when people uh, when clients are asking sort of why are we doing that, uh, why does training look like this, why does this and why and that. Helping them understand more about their training and help and then aside from training as well not just helping them understand about training but helping them understand why we do things why we sleep uh nutrition why your nutrition looks a certain way why what like what effects your sleep and your nutrition and your training has on their life F- educating them on all that is going to not only, not only help them create buy-in but also help them make decisions for themselves help them make help them take control of their of their own life and uh help them make help them then make educated decisions on 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 their own on their own sort of thing rather than being told and told and told do this do that do this do this do the other whatever helps them make their own decisions help them decide what works for them what works what doesn't work what can work what can't those sorts of things it helps them much better understand everything and much better buy in to uh, for us for what we're trying to do with them and what we're trying to get help them get from their lifestyle uh, in particular with the class clients we put a lot of time into sort of I put a lot of time into uh, sending them uh, educational material so whether it is sort of a video of me explaining uh, on a specific topic whether it is sleep or nutrition or uh, supplements or whatever it is just like the last episode of the podcast whatever it is helping educate them gives them the tools to be able to become the best versions of themselves rather than them just blindly following instructions blindly following what is on the board blindly following whatever you send their way Educating them is a huge, huge part of what I believe in. Uh, helps them make lasting and long-term changes. Like I said again, lasting and long-term changes are exactly what we want from clients because we don't want like, three months flash in the pan and then they end up back like broken down, burnt out, back to be- worse place than before than, than when they started. So I think helping them understand and educating them on everything that we do why training looks a certain way why they sleep why the programming uh why certain movements why not others and all those kinds of things go a very very long way to creating buy-in from clients and creating creating sort of a sense of trust because as a coach you do have a lot of trust you do have a, a, a whole amount a big amount of trust uh that your clients place in you because they've come to you with their problems with their issues and they come to you for you to fix them (coughs) excuse me they've come to you for you to fix their problems so you do have a big responsibility to uh, set them in the right direction and help them make those changes so educating them is a great way to uh, help them build buy-in, build build buy-in with your clients, build buy-in with your class, whatever it is. And it is a great, great way to help the client themselves make educated and lasting changes to their lifestyle. Because like, like with the first part, ultimately, when you're training for health and fitness, 
the wider and broader aim is to help people live a healthier, live stronger, fitter, better lifestyle as a whole through making lasting changes, habit habitual changes to what they currently do.